These right here are insanity shaders in Minecraft 1.21.5 and I'm gonna teach you how to download and install these shaders super easy. Let's go. Now to install insanity shaders, let's go ahead and download them. Click on the second link in the description. This is an article that teaches you how to download and install these shaders in case this video is too fast for you. But if you wanna make it straight to the point, just come down here and choose ModRinth instead of CurseForge. You could download through CurseForge, but in this video, we're gonna use ModRinth. Once you click on it, it's gonna put you right here where I want you to go ahead and download the latest version of insanity shaders. You could also choose your game version in here. And even though the latest one as of right now is 1.21.5, you will see that these shaders are compatible with Minecraft 1.21.5. Now, once you're set on your shader version, click on download and the download will begin right away. Now, I want you to go ahead and place those shaders in your desktop. It should be a zip file. You can find it here on your recent download history or within the downloads folder in your computer. Now, once you got Insanity shaders downloaded, if you already have a Minecraft shader loader, just go ahead and add your shaders into your game and you're done. You're set. You can go ahead and play. But if you don't have a shader loader, let's go ahead and download one. We're going to use Iris shaders loader. Now, click on the third link in the description. Again, this is an article that teaches you how to do this in case this video is too fast but if you want to make it quick come down to step one and click on iris shaders that is going to redirect you over here where we're going to click download universal jar and the download for the iris shader installer will begin right away and just like we did earlier with insanity shaders go ahead and place that in your desktop now we are ready to begin the installation of the shader loader as well as to add insanity shaders to the game first close minecraft 1.21.5 as well as the minecraft launcher and then double click on the iris installer now if it gives you this prompt in here go ahead and select java if it opens right away then perfect and if it doesn't open at all or you don't see java as an option to select or maybe it opens as a web browser or something like that. I'm going to teach you how to fix it in just a second. But if it opens, go ahead and select 1.21.5 and then just hit install. And like I was saying, if it didn't open right away, you need to install Java 21. This will allow you to open jar files in your computer like the Iris installer. That is a jar file and you need it specifically Java 21 because any Minecraft above Minecraft 1.20.5 will require you to have Java 21 installed. I'm going to leave this article in the description to install Java 21. It's fairly simple. And once Java is installed, you will be able to open the installer. Now, once Iris finishes installing, go ahead and close it from here. You could delete the installer from your desktop. You won't be needing that anymore. And now it's time to add the shaders. For that, go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher. And once the launcher opens, if you install Iris properly, you should see it selected here automatically. Now just go ahead and hit play. And if you can find it in here, head over to installations and make sure you have modded selected. And then you will see Iris in here. But if you see it in here, just go ahead and hit play. If you get a prompt, read through it. And if you agree, hit play again. Now once Minecraft opens, let's go ahead and open a single player world to add these shaders too. You could also use shaders on multiplayer worlds. And if you need a multiplayer server, just go ahead and use that first link in the description to get 25 percent off with apex hosting now once you're inside a world you will see that it looks normal it looks like regular minecraft but we already have a shader loader installed to enable shaders press escape head over to options head over to video settings and then right here you will see a shader packs button on the top click in there and you have the shader pack menu in here now it's time to add those shaders now to add those shaders simply minimize your game or not minimize it but make it smaller and just drag and drop the zip file from your desktop into this menu in here drag and drop it into there and you will see insanity shaders has been added selected in here and then hit apply now once the shaders are enabled you could click done come back into the game and now you have Insanity Shaders in Minecraft 1.21.5, guys. That is it. And if you ever want to disable these shaders, you could just press K on your keyboard and the shaders will be disabled. If you want to turn them back on, you could press K again and the shaders will be enabled. And you could also access that shader menu that we had just opened by pressing O on your keyboard. You'll be placed right here straight away. Anyways, guys, I hope this video helped you. If it did, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.